gon' step up for me Make sure my fans stay cause my daughter gotta eat I know I ain't perfect That's right, keep calm and welcome back to the channel That channel is Deb Snell's 4 Days World Where we're asking you to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe And get me up to that 10,000 mark of viewers of subscribers to my channel and thank you all for participating and coming back supporting my channel each and every time you get a chance for well, this is high alert okay this is a cold red this is on the highest point you can have on an emergency it's time to sound the alarm yes lord honey it's time to sound the alarm in my beyonce's voice okay we got a musty video that's coming out here. I'm going I'm getting it from bscott.com. If you know who she is, please go over there and and validate her channel. Subscribe over there cuz she be giving out some hits. She be giving out some bangers of entertainment gossip news. But honey, you know I can't show this on my channel because you know I'm I'm working with uh, equipment that pretty much like you're gonna go down or something like that so you know you gotta bear with me next year gonna bring a lot of positive new equipment new things going on microphones and all that good stuff but right now we're working with what we can what we got our hands on okay what we can do what we can do we got to crawl before we can walk okay understanding that but guess what love be scott Got some inside scoop of season 12 coming back. I don't know if it's going to be the first episode, the second episode, or the third episode. But it's coming back with a bang, a boom of explosion of uh, gossip and entertainment that's going to have us glued to our seats and our eyes to the TV screen, okay? But anyway, Lovey Scott brought out this article today. Yes, she did. And uh, she pretty much titled it... Uh, First look, Portia Williams, fiance, Dennis McKinley. Sorry about that. Dennis McKinley, alleged mistress, surprises the latest on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Season 12 premiere video. Okay, now, I got the video audio. Well, I should say I have the audio, but I don't have the video part because on my computer, it won't even show me anything. It's dead, like a dead doorknob. Okay? Dead like dead wood. Put a fork in it. It's done. But I'm going to play it. So hopefully you all will get to hear it. And then we're going to come back and talk about this situation. But yes, honey. I'll be like, ooh, sound the alarm. Because I can't believe this is going down. Now, of course, I think it's some stage fuckery going on. Because how in the world are you going to have all these ladies at one particular setting at the OLG game restaurant and then uh, Miss lady coming in the mistress of dennis mckinley gonna sit out there and sprout tea like she uh putting seeds in the ground trying to grow a tree or something and she just over there happened to be over at candy's restaurant along with the other three housewives and filming is taking place what tell me if that don't sound like a setup but i'm gonna let y'all listen to the audio so y'all can tell me what y'all think about this video okay but here we go. Hope you can hear it. Here we go right now. Mistress of Den Dennis McKinley, Portia fiance. Okay, let's hear that again. Why don't we? All right. I feel like 
think I should take an opportunity because I wanted to mention something to you. What's Can up? I sit down for a second? Sure. What's going on? I don't know if like you've been on the internet or heard anything or seen anything, but apparently there's this story out and I'm this girl in the fog that's supposedly a mistress to Portia's fiance. Talk about you. I'm the mistress. Did y'all hear that? Now I'm gonna have a picture of this little uh what's her name? Sincerely Ward, I think it is. But let's get on into the article that B Scott wrote up. Okay, we're gonna read that title one more time. It said Love B Scott. This is coming from her um blogging site. LoveBscott.com. If you want to get it inside and see it on your own, you know, for your own eyes, your own edification, go on over there, honey. All right. And tell her Dev Snell sent you. <laughs> Dev Snell's 48 World sent you. Okay. But anyway, the article is titled First Look Portia Williams, fiance Dennis McKinley's alleged mistress surprises the ladies on the Real Housewives of Atlanta season 12 premiere. Um, it says the Real Housewives of Atlanta season 12 is starting out fresh with the mess. And I'm telling you, that's a big hunk of mess right there. Woo-wee! Woo! That is the salt shaker because I need something else on this salad. Okay! But it says in the first look scene, Eva, Marcel, Cynthia Bailey, and Candy Burris are enjoying a meal at Candy's Old Lady Game Restaurant. But someone else brought the tea. Okay. Now that's sort of the first um when you hear Eva's questioning uh, excuse me, questioning Candy on when they start uh serving fried green tomatoes. And Candy's like, Oh, I love them. Uh they've been here for a while on the menu. So that's them talking and got Cynthia, she's talking with her got food in her mouth, you know. They eating off each other's plate or that's the appetizer they brought to the table. Um, while the gentleman uh, approached Candy and says a lady had bought her a drink. And everybody know that really follow Candy. They know she don't drink, okay? She gets high on that fantasy um, body language thing if you get my drift. That's what gets her high, okay? Other than that, she drank a tea, coffee, milk, orange juice, and all that kind of stuff, all right? But anyway, going back to the article, it says, Actually, a woman sent a drink to the ladies from over at the bar. Since Candy doesn't drink, she quickly returned a drink only to be approached by Cynthia Ward. Yes, that's the alleged mistress that uh, was hanging out and doing some strange things with some change with Dennis McKinley while he was um, reportedly um, engaged to, I mean, to uh, Portia Williams. Okay, that's not in the article. That's just giving me, a, giving me, giving you a little. Uh, uh, other information that wasn't in here, okay? But it says um, this rank was given or sent over to the table by um, Sincerely Ward to Candy, but of course, you know, like I said, it's on stage, but it is what it is, a drink, but um, it says they uh, then uh, Sincerely approached them, who some may remember as a cast member from East Wags, Atlanta. Uh, V-I-E-T, people who know me really know the truth. Sincerely, when she was talking to Entertainment Tonight, once you see the episode on Sunday, I really feel like everybody will see the truth of what's really real. So that's really all I have to say about it. And after that, I'm not going to respond to it or talk about it anymore. So you know, I had your little 15 minutes of fame, sincerely, water, and that's ain't that's all you got to say about it. So they're trying to say allegedly that this might be the first thing that we see with them coming back on November 3rd, which is this Sunday coming, okay? That's my pun and my sidebar. Going back to the article, it says, Sincerely says, the moment to talk with Candy, Cynthia and Eva came about organically as she simply found herself at Old Lady Gang at the same time as the Re Real Housewives of Atlanta stars. Uh, now, you really think we're going to believe that sincerely? Uh uh, unless you paid a private investigator to follow them around, meaning Eva Marcel, Cynthia Bailey, and uh, Candy Burris, to find out when they were all going to be together, and then you could just sort of meet up with them. Are you kidding me? Girl, please, we know you probably in some of this mess behind the scenes. You know, true entertainment, allegedly. Wink, wink. Okay. Not in the article. That was my sidebar. Going back to the article, it says, I'm really focused on my career and my family, sincerely adds. That's what 
consumes me, not the foolishness, but yet, sincerely, my sidebar, you're on this ratchet reality series, uh, TV series, and you're trying to speak the gospel truth. Are you serious, girl? Come on now. We ain't fools. We foolish at times, but we ain't fools. Okay. But anyway, going back, it says that's what, uh, cons okay, but, okay. But hey, I'll give you a kiki or two if you like. I've been through the gamut with this, so nothing will surprise me. And I have a and I have thick skin at this point. So bring it on. I don't care. <laughs> That's what she's saying. And they're asking us to watch it. I'll go down below. The Real Housewives of Atlanta uh franchise show returns on Sunday, November 3rd, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Easter Standard Time on Bravo Television. And I'm going to be right now. It was short and sweet, guys. Just short and sweet. I gave y'all the footage, the audio footage, and I put in my videos, the pictures where she comes to the table to talk to Candy Burris because she know Candy Burris gossip is respected. <laughs> and it does come to true. Uh, it comes to fruition, and she comes smelling like a rose, even though she breaks the tea down real kind of ratchet, but it, it just gets there. You know what I'm saying? It gets to the point. Don't really matter how it traveled and got there. When you talk about Canterbury spread some news, it's true gossip. Trust and believe it. True, true. The telling of the truth gossip, okay? But anyway, uh, the gospel known from Canterbury to you, to me, to the social media. You get it? She's dropping the tea. Hopefully it won't be a backstabbing thing where her and Portia had to go back and forth. You know, all this stuff has devolved uh, or evolved and it's pretty much have resolved itself and we all know from up to this point uh, before they got the taping and all that. Dennis and, and Portia are back together but hopefully she won't forget what she came from in order to go forward whether it's with Dennis McKinley or not. You know what I'm saying? Because it's still pumping brakes here. She's still trying to get him to sign a prenup. But we don't know how long that's pretty much going to last before she say, I do, and jump the broom. But she ain't already done so. And she just can't tell us because, you know, she's contracted, obligated to a Bravo to probably bring it out. Now, I hope she ain't bringing it out on that last episode of season 12, bringing it into the reunion. Because that's going to really be some mess. Okay? But anyway, that's all I have for this video. Hope y'all enjoyed it, girl. It was like uh, sound of long felt. And I had to come down and give it to you, okay? Little rush, yes it was, but I, I, it's just like a hot plate of grits. You just had to get them in your mouth, even though you know they're going to burn a little bit, but you just had to enjoy it, and you had to take it, okay? But anyway, y'all get down in them comments, tell me what y'all thought about this, okay? And definitely continue to subscribe to my channel. Subscribe, 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 share, and like my videos, okay? I'll be back with one more video, then I'm out for tonight. Okay, peace and blessings. See you next video. Bye.